Lesson 12. I will solve two-step word problems, including multiplicative comparison. So we're going to be working on some word problems in this lesson, just like you did in your Zern lesson. Let's go ahead and write your name on your problem set. Now the first thing you're going to notice is if you take the time to read this problem, you're going to notice that this is one of the problems that you solved in your Zern lesson. So we're not going to go through this problem again, and I even wrote here, see Zern notes. If you want to know how to solve this problem, you can look back in your Zern notes. All right? The same thing with problem number two. It talks about the Turner family and using water. This also can be found in your Zern notes. So let's go ahead and skip to problem three, because this is where the new material comes. All right, so we're going to approach this application problem like we do all the others. We're going to be in with R, D, W, W. So we're going to start by reading the problem. Jaden has 347 marbles. Elvis has four times as many as Jaden. Presley has 799 fewer than Elvis. How many marbles does Presley have? So I'm hearing a lot of comparison words. I'm hearing some multiplicative comparison, and I'm also hearing some additive comparison. So when I get ready to draw my tape diagram, I'm going to go ahead and draw three separate tape diagrams. I'm going to put J for Jaden, I'm going to put E for Elvis, and I'm going to put P for Presley. Now, when I go back and reread this again, I can see that it tells me right away how many marbles Jaden has. So I'm going to go ahead and label this box for Jaden, 347, because it tells me right off the bat that he has 347 marbles. It says Elvis has four times as many as Jaden, so that means that Elvis is going to have four 347s. So I'm going to go ahead and draw four boxes, and I'm going to label 347 inside each of these boxes, because he has four times as many. Lastly, it says that Presley has 799 fewer than Elvis. So when I draw Presley's box, I, or yes, I'm going to draw it shorter than Elvis's. And the distance between the end of Presley's box and the end of Elvis's box is going to be 799 because he has 799 fewer. Now the question says, how many marbles does Presley have? So this is what I'm trying to figure out. I'm going to go ahead and just label this M for marbles. I could also label it P for Presley or just with a question mark. So I want you to take a look at this tape diagram. And I want you to think to yourself, okay, this is a two-step word problem. We know that from our learning target for today. So how am I going to figure out how many marbles Presley has in two steps? What do you think our first step would be? Well, I'm thinking our first step is going to be to figure out how many marbles Elvis has. So we could add 347 four times, or we could multiply 347 times four. So let's go ahead and do this, and let's go ahead and use standard multiplication algorithm. So I'm going to change colors just so you can see. So I've got seven ones times four, which gives me 28, and then I have four tens times four, which gives me 16 tens, plus these two tens, which gives me 18 tens, and then three hundreds times four, which gives me 12 hundreds plus this hundred, which gives me 13 hundreds. So I have that Elvis has 1,388 marbles. Now I know that Presley has 799 fewer. I want you to think about the next step, and I want you to go ahead and solve the rest of this problem. We've already read it. We've already made a drawing. You've already written one number sentence. You're about to write another one. I want you to go ahead and solve this, um, write your answer as a statement when you're finished, and let's come back and check together. Okay, so if I have 799 fewer marbles, right away, that makes me think of taking these marbles away, which makes me think of subtraction. So I went ahead and set up a subtraction problem here. 1,388 minus 799. And I had to do some decomposing here. I'm not going to explain all this to you. I'm going to let you come back and look at the decomposing if you didn't get the same thing that I did. When I subtracted, I got 589. So when I wrote my answer statement, 
how many marbles does Presley have? I said Presley has 589 marbles. Okay, let's take a look at problem number four. Now for problem number four, we are working backwards. We get to write an equation that would allow someone to solve for the value of r. So we have to really take a minute here to analyze what's going on. All right, so first of all, I'm, I've got two values. I don't know what this is. I know that I'm comparing three times 1,167, and then I have another value, which is r, which is less than 1,167. So if I was going to solve for r, let's think about that for a minute. This would be a two-step problem. What would be my first step? Well, before I could find r, I would have to figure out what all of this is together. So how would you do that? Well, you'd, you could either add 1,167 three times, or you could use multiplication. Now, since I'm just writing an equation, it's not asking me to solve it, I'm going to write this in a horizontal fashion. So I'm going to say 1,167 times 3. Now, because this is a two-step problem, it wants me to just write one equation. I'm going to put parentheses around this, and this means that you have to do this first. You have to solve 1,167 times 3. Now, once we figure out how much all of this is, if I want to find out r, I'm going to have to do something with this number right here. Since r is less than this value, it's actually 239 less, I'm going to subtract 239. And that's going to equal r. So we're going to multiply 1167 times 3, and then we're going to take away 239, and that's going to leave us with a value of r. Alright, now let's take a look at part b. Now, here's where the fun part becomes. We get to write our own word problem to correspond to the tape diagram. Then we get to solve it. So I'm going to go to a split screen here so that we can see both of these. You can see both of them at the same time because of the way your paper is. So let's take a look here. We get to make up our own problem. So I'm trying to think of what would I be comparing here that is 1,167 three times. Hmm. Okay. So I'm thinking of something that would have a really big number like this. So my first thought was, well, let's think about money. What if we said R stood for Robert, and we said Robert saved 1167 dollars each month for three months. Okay, so here's month one, here's month two, here's month three. So he's been saving $1,167 for three months. But now we have to think of what would make him have less. Maybe he bought something. What could he buy for $239? Let's say maybe he bought a new bicycle, a nice bicycle if it's $239, okay? So let's say he bought... A new bicycle for $239. So now we have to ask a question. So what could we say that R stands for? Well, I was thinking maybe R could stand for how much money he had left. So now let's say how much money does Robert have left? Now, we get to solve this problem. Okay, so we already talked about what you would have to do to solve this problem. I want you to pause the video and I want you to try to solve for R and let's see if you can figure out how much money Robert has left. Okay. So the first thing we have to do is we have to figure out how much money Robert had all together. So he had his $1,167 for three months. So my first step was to take 1,167 times three. 
And that's what I did here. You can see that I had 7 times 3, which was 21, and 6 tens times 3, which was 18 tens plus 2 tens, which gave me 20 tens. And then I had 20 or 100 times 3, which is 3 hundreds plus these 2 hundreds, which was 5 hundreds, and then 1,000 times 3, which was 3,000. So that gave me $3,501. Next, I needed to take away the money that Robert spent on his bicycle. So I took 3,501 and I subtracted 239 and that gave me 3,262. So the question was, how much money does Robert have left? And the answer is, Robert has $3,262 left. Okay, so that's the end of your problem set. We worked out two problems and we were using two step word problems, including multiplic multiplicative comparison. Make sure that whenever you get ready to do your exit ticket, you can always go back and look at your Zerm notes. And you can also look at this problem set if you get stuck.